Now, proteins is a very big part here because uh, in biology, often we have a lot of different uh, biology concepts that uh, is based on our knowledge on proteins. So um, it is quite important that we do get our head around uh, protein structure and everything like that. Now, in a basic sense, proteins are a big biological molecules made up of amino acids. So as you can see, there are different parts to the amino acid. Um, we've got a central carbon and we've got one single hydrogen. We've got an R group, which is the variable group. Uh, and this is the bit that um, changes depending on uh, the 20 different types of amino acids. Um, this part here is called the amine group, so it's NH2. And the other side bit is the carboxyl group COOH, as we've seen before. In A-level chemistry, and some of you who, who do that, uh, you might come across the concept of switcher ion, uh, which means that there's a single molecule that exhibits both positive and negative charges as an ion. So uh, what can happen is that COOH can lose the hydrogen, become CO uh, minus, which is a negative um, ion, and this bit can gain one hydrogen, becomes NH3+, which is a positive uh, side of it. So this is kind of one of those examples. Here is another amino acid. So uh, what happens is, it's very simply put, very similar to the ones before um, in uh, carbohydrate and uh, uh, lipids. The carboxyl group here will lose the hydroxyl group and the hydroxyl group steals one of the hydrogen uh, and goes off to make water. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like and as you can see we've got the peptide bond that is formed in between and this is the same thing over and over again this reaction here is the condensation reaction because what we'll get is we get the water molecule that is formed after that and um, the other direction will be the hydrolysis reaction where we use the water molecule to break it up. So we've got the amino acids and then once we've got two amino acids joined up is what we call the dipeptide. So quite often in textbooks and in, in uh, um, uh, past paper questions, you often see the word polypeptide. Now, polypeptide really, um, in some sense, it's another word to describe protein, but there are slight differences between them. Many, many proteins are often joined up by other parts, of uh, prosthetic groups, like non-protein groups, uh, to make up a functioning protein. For example, hemoglobin is made up of four different subunits of uh, polypeptide, uh, and then in each of these polypeptide subunits, they will contain a heme group and all together is what we make up the protein. So just be aware of the slight difference there. Polypeptide refers to a molecule that is joined up by multiple amino acids, um, whereas a protein is a polypeptide molecule that may or may not contain um, uh, prosthetic groups, non-protein groups to make up a functioning uh, protein molecule. So there's a slight difference there. And we'll talk about the level, different levels of uh, protein structure in our next video.